You can grow plants anywhere. You can grow them in your garden, of course, and inside. But today, I want to try something that's a little bit out of the box, the letterbox. I'm going to make my own, my version of an information transmission station that also has a bit of room for pollination. I'm making this letterbox for a mate of mine and I'm using salvage windfall trees, macrocarpa or golden cypress pine. The design of the letterbox is based on two long sleepers braced in the middle. They'll also act as stumps with about a third of the length buried underground. It'll all be clad in more timber with a mail slot, an access door at the back and a metal tube on the side for newspapers. And as always, there is room for plants. I'm adding a side saddle for swapping seedlings or excess produce and a rooftop garden. First up, I'm drilling and nailing the braces into place between the long sleepers. This forms the basic structure of the letterbox to ensure it's strong and rigid. I'm cladding the front and the back of the box with more of the same timber that's just been milled a little bit shallower. And I've left a little overhang so I can take that off later because there's nothing worse than being a tiny bit short. You can't add timber. Now I've just got to clad the other side. So I've got some pieces of timber cut to length. But a couple of these are going to end up as a door. I'm attaching a hinge so it's easy to access the mail. Now I've got a working door. It still needs a handle and a latch. But firstly, I've got to finish off this side saddle. I'm adding some mesh to the bottom of the side saddle. This will allow drainage for any potted plants that are put in here. We've worked out how we're going to get the letters out, but how are we going to get them in? Well, I'm going to cut that now. And I spoke to my postie about this. He said he didn't have a preference as to whether it went horizontally or vertically, so long as it sat somewhere between about 900 millimetres and 1200 millimetres high. A bit of jigsawing and smoothing with the file and the slot is done. For a final touch, I'm tidying up the edges of the cladding to make them all nice and even. I've given the whole letterbox, both below and above ground, a coating with a weatherproof oil, so that should protect the timber. Then I just have to fit a handle to the door or you're ready to go. Now I've just got to fix this into the ground. I'm going to backfill and I'm going to pack the soil in around those legs using the crowbar. And then we can finally get to the fun bit. I've just got a few finishing touches to put on. So the first one is the roof. It's going to keep it really weatherproof. And I've lined this box of timber with some corrugated iron, but I've left a nice open slot that's going to drain because I'm going to fill this with plants. And then the last thing, this tube, which I'm going to fix to the side. Perfect for the local rag, or of course you could fill it full of hollow sticks and make a little hotel for your local bees. Now I'm finally at the best part, the planting. I want to put a little rooftop garden on there. Of course, I could go straight on top of the tin, but I want it to be flexible. I might want to change it around. 
I'm going to use an old barbecue tray. I've put some holes in the bottom of this one so it'll drain. And then I'll get a little bit of base layer mix in. So to plant species, you've got to go for Australian natives. They are some of the toughest plants in the world. And this one, which is called commonly Bidgey Widgey, it's a really, really versatile plant. Then I'm going to use some succulents. They are very tough plants. But in my climate where it gets really, really cold, most of them just melt in winter. They can't survive. But the Sempervivums, that name literally means forever live. <laughs> Of course, the side saddle is the perfect place for putting a pot plant to complete the picture. I'm going to add a little Dianella at the front. And I couldn't resist a little bit of Canedia, also known as running postman. Well, I reckon that is pretty fun, a creative way to get more plants into your front garden. And it's a little bit different. Just got to hope the postie is a plant lover. Come on,